to two over the Anaheim Ducks. This is take three of me doing this because each of the first two takes got got corrupted. Here we go again. Please be third time a charm. <laughs> well, as you're hearing me right, the Chicago Blackhawks win over the Anaheim Ducks 4-2 to two in Anaheim, completing their road trip 3-2. and two. Success. That's a winning record on a road trip. That was a five-game long trip. And they find a way to come out with back-to-back -back victories, a great comeback victory over the LA Kings yesterday, and a great win over the Anaheim Ducks tonight. This was a much-needed win as they were playing a team in Anaheim who has a stellar goaltender who can steal games in Lucas Stolstol. And, well... Let's look at these stats of the game, shall we? It kind of shows a little bit of an interesting moment. 11-14 to 14 in favor for the shots on goal for the Ducks in the first. 9-8 to eight in favor for your Chicago Blackhawks in the second. 9-17 to 17 in favor for the Anaheim Ducks in the third. Total shots on goal, 29-39 to 39 Anaheim. That's not good, but that's a lot of shots against. But then again, you are playing a second of a back-to-back. -back. And we also were playing our backup goalie in Arvid Soderblom, who played phenomenal tonight. He faced a lot of pucks, and he made the saves when needed. 37 saves on 39 shots. That's really good. And he was really good tonight. Power play, Hawks were 2 for 2. To the Ducks going one for five, granted one other power play goals. That that one power play goal they scored came with four seconds left in regulation time. So it really could have been a, a five for five night, but then again, late power play goal with a six on four attack for the Ducks happened. So let's look into this game now. Let's get into it. In the first period, Anaheim was the team that came out charging. The Hawks looked sluggish. Arvid had to stand strong. He did, and a penalty was called, though, midway through the period on Lucas Reichel. Reichel goes to the box. Hawks kill off the power play of the Ducks, and the Hawks gain some momentum from it. Shots on goal after this power play from the Ducks up to 13 to 3. That's not good. Not good at all. No. My bad. It was uh 10 to uh 2. I should correct myself there. So the Hawks were getting peppered. And well, the Hawks with the momentum after this penalty kill were able to come down the ice at 1257 in the first period. Score by number 41, Isaac Phillips. His first of the season. Assisted by number 98, Connor Bedard. And number 71, Taylor Hall. The Hawks come down, get an opportunity, and Phillips rifles one past Stolstol. It's one nothing Hawks. Hawks now with the momentum on their side. A few minutes later, get a power play. It's And they uh, were able to capitalize off it. Because with this second power play unit out on the ice, at 16.44 in the first period, scored by number 86, Tavo Teravainen. His fourth of the season, assisted by number 71, Taylor Hall and number 72, Alex Vlasic. Vlasic feeds it over to Hall. Hall seeing Tavo on the circle across the ice, dishes it over there for a one time shot by Tavo and in. It's 2 0 Hawks. 
they take this 2-0 lead into the second period of play. Good press by the Hawks, getting some momentum, finding a way to take a two-goal lead. Into the second period, it doesn't. It comes late in the second where the Hawks are able to add to their lead. But I should mention, Anaheim had a few power plays. Hawks were killing them strong. And Anaheim had some chances. Soderblom stood strong. Bedard had a breakaway. He missed. Um, so that happened. Uh, but we're able to get a late power play in the second period. And at 18.05 in the second period, scored by number four, Steph Jones. His second of the season, assisted by number 98, Connor Bedard. And number 73, Lucas Reichel. A power play goal by Jones, giving the Hawks a 3-0 lead over the Anaheim Ducks. This power play was all great puck movement between Bedard and Jones. Um, what happened here? Bedard normally starting out on the circle. He moves up to the point. Jones takes the circle spot. They pass between. Bedard feeds it over to Reichel. Reichel feeds it back to Bedard. And Bedard feeds it over to Jones to blast it past Dolstol. And in... It's 3-0 Hawks. We go into the third period. However, before we go into the third period, there were some fisticuffs happening. Pat Maroon gets into a fight with Johnston. Um, so five minutes for fighting for each side. And then Craig Smith gets on the side of the fighting, was barking at the ref, and he got a 10-minute misconduct. That's our four, two of our fourth liners in the box. Uh, Lucas Reichel on the fourth line with those two guys. So that's our fourth line basically in the box. And Reichel um, it, just basically waiting to uh, get his line mates back together through this third period of play. Into the third period of play now, though. We'll get into this. Uh, third period, Anaheim comes out pressing, getting their opportunities off. Arvid standing strong. But at 10-16 in the third period, Brock McGinn scores his second of the season, assisted by Johnston to make it a 3-1 lead for the Hawks. So it's now a two-goal difference. Anaheim finally getting on the board, finding a way to beat Orvid Soderbloom. Not good. To, uh, it's okay. The Hawks still have a two-goal lead. So we fast forward a bit um, into this uh, third period. And well, at 17.43, chaos happens in the offensive zone. 17.43, Scored by number eight, Ryan Donato. The man with the hottest stick in the league gets his seventh of the season. Assisted by number 98, Connor Budard. And number 23, Belop Kurashev. Budard gets the puck behind the net going towards the circle. Dishes it to Kurashev in the slot for Kurashev to shoot it on net. Puck remains loose, but Dard and um, Donato battling to push it in. No whistles called. Puck's bouncing there, but Dard gets it on his stick. He shoots it. It comes loose still. And Ryan Donato, the man with the hottest stick in the league, puts it in. It's 4-1. Hawks. Shortly after this, Hawks end up going to the penalty kill with a minute and 30 remaining in regulation time. Ducks call a timeout, go six on four, and while well, at four seconds left in regulation, Anaheim puts it in by Mason McTavish to make it a 4-2 game. 
Okay. Hawks gave up a late power play goal to the Ducks that they went six on four with. Okay, that's all right. Hawks win it, though. They win it 4-2, getting back-to-back -back victories in Southern California. So, down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts were on tonight's action in Anaheim and how you thought the Hawks did on this uh, five-game road trip. So thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, Hawks win! Hawks win! And let's go Hawks!